My heart is a what with my thoughts. Oh, and I don't know which side. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I am actually going to be doing a cleaning marathon. If you guys are new to my channel, this is where I take five or six of my most recent videos over the past couple of months to bring you guys two hours of cleaning motivation. There is a ton of cleaning motivation in today's video. There's a bedroom refresh and a kitchen refresh and just tons of deep cleaning and organizing and all the things compiled in today's video. So if you guys are really in need for some cleaning motivation, today you are definitely in the right place I really want to encourage you guys to put me up on your screen today that way we can tackle the messes and get our houses cleaned up together I really hope that you guys enjoy today's video and thank you again so much for clicking on my video and watching it means the world to me and without further ado I'm gonna stop ranting and let's just jump into the cleaning marathon you could fit into my life. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I am going to be doing part three of my spring cleaning series. I know I'm a little bit behind on the spring cleaning, but I did recently have a baby. And so my spring cleaning is beginning now and I am going to be tackling the kitchen and the laundry room in today's video. I'm gonna be deep cleaning the kitchen and kind of doing some organizing in there as well. And then I'll be deep cleaning the laundry room and I'll be shampooing our upstairs carpets. So we are gonna start out today in this video doing some window cleaning in my kitchen. You guys might be sick of watching me wash windows, but they have to get done and this is a huge project whenever it comes to spring cleaning in my home. I don't like doing this and so I really try to do it twice a year. I'll do once in the spring and once in the fall. So I'm gonna take a few minutes here and get all of my windows cleaned off off, and then I'll move on to the rest of the cleaning. If you guys happen to be new to my channel today, I did just want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Whitney, I'm 29 years old. My husband and I live in West Virginia, but we are originally from Maryland. I am a stay-at-home mom and we have three kids. We have a five-year-old son named Barrett, a three-year-old daughter named Savannah, and an eight-week-old baby girl named Maddie. I do a ton of cleaning and organizing here on my channel and I try to keep it real by sharing with you guys real life messes. I never try to pre-clean or anything like that because I am a mom and I know how crazy our homes can get. I also like to sprinkle in a little bit of 
lifestyle content, grocery hauls, clothing hauls, home decor, all of that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you all might be interested, I would love to have you subscribe and join the family. We love to meet new people and I really want to encourage you to leave a comment down below letting me know if you are new here today so that I can welcome you to my channel. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a vlog channel as well. I am trying to do a day in the life style video every week over there on that channel. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave it linked down below. I'm having a lot of fun creating a little bit of different content for you guys over there. What happened to all the love we always took for granted? Are we stranded? I'm waiting for an answer, waiting for a sparkle to come to ignite love. I need no second chances. I'm tired of romances without love. So where do we go when we can't find our way? I don't wanna be alone. So what do One thing that I really needed to tackle in today's spring cleaning video was on top of the fridge, which you guys saw, I can't even tell you the last time that I cleaned on top of our fridge. So it was really nice to get all of that decluttered. We had like random paint cans and trim paint and all kinds of stuff up there that just needed to get put away. And then I really wanted to give our cabinets a good wipe down as well. It has been a minute since I've done this also here on my channel and in just real life. I can't again tell you the last time i've done this now whenever i see a spot or something of that sort on my cabinet i will quickly wipe it up but as far as completely wiping down the counters and the island and all of that stuff it's probably been a year so i really needed to get into doing that today and then you'll see me in a later clip here wiping down the wall near our kitchen table that is another spot that gets gross we do have three small kids so there is just always food on the wall over there so i was really excited to get that cleaned up as well It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different While I was wiping down the kitchen, I decided to go ahead and just wipe down my stainless steel appliances as well. Now, I am not somebody who polishes my stainless steel a whole lot. Honestly, I just feel like it's a waste of time because, again, as a mom with small kids, I constantly have fingerprints on these appliances. And so to go through the effort of buffing everything out and giving my stainless steel a nice polish, is honestly just a waste of time and arm strength. I just don't have the time or the patience to do that all the time. And it's just way easier to take a little bit of multi-purpose cleaner and give them a nice wipe down. Maybe you're just not that nice and humble kind. That will be a
I also really wanted to give the kitchen a good sweep down and I'm going to be mopping in here as well. I feel like you can't spring clean a room and then not mop. I feel like that's just bad juju. I don't know. So I really just wanted to get in here and mop everything down. Again, I had been dusting from top to bottom, so I really just wanted to complete the space. Hey, don't you look at me like that when you break my heart like that, like you're feeling sorry. It's your own fault. Now toss the salt. Don't you look at me like that, walking out the door like that, then I'm feeling sorry. It's your own fault. Now toss the salt. Now that the kitchen was all done, I did also want to completely deep clean our trash can. Now I actually filmed this the day prior, so that's why my outfit is different and I'm outside and all of that stuff. Um, and I just took some Lysol spray and my hose and I just hosed it out really quick. It wasn't really all that dirty. Honestly, the dirtiest part was the lid. I really just needed to scrub that down. The inside of the trash can was completely clean. So that was a nice surprise. Um, and again, just kind of wiping this down, spraying it out. And then I did leave it outside to dry for a little bit and then I brought it back inside. I am going to move into the laundry room now and this is the same night that I was filming the kitchen and you'll see my little baby girl there. I have to baby wear her pretty much most of the day. It's the only way that she really stays calm and that I can get things done. I always get people asking me like, how do you get all of your stuff done when you have a newborn? Y'all, this is how. I have to wear her. I don't have a choice. I can't really set her down most days. She's very fussy and baby wearing has honestly saved my sanity. Now I am just folding a little bit of newborn clothes here because I was going to be putting them away and it makes me so sad. I bawled my eyes out when I started putting her newborn clothes away because this is our last baby. This is the last time that I'll ever have a tiny little newborn and tiny little newborn clothes to put away. And it just makes my heart hurt so bad. And any of you who have had to close a season of your life, I totally understand it. I totally get it. It sucks. You know, I wish I could have all the babies, but that's just not practical. And people always tell me like, you'll know when you're done having kids, but I honestly don't feel that way. I don't know if I would ever feel done. I just love being a mom. I love having kids. I love this phase so much that I just don't think it would ever get old to me. But I know that I can't just keep having kids over and over again. Obviously, the more C-sections you have, the higher risk you are of, you know, having complications. And I wouldn't want to jeopardize anything for myself or the baby or our children. So that chapter is closed for me. I did have my little bawling session. Of course, it's still a season that I'm going to be grieving, but I am really excited for all of the seasons that I'm going to have with this baby girl, watching her grow up. My favorite age is around 10 months. They're just so much fun at that age, and I cannot wait to see her and watch her grow up, and I know that I'm gonna have so many more seasons with my kids that I'm really going to enjoy. Now that the laundry room is all nice and deep cleaned, honestly one of my favorite rooms to deep clean because I just love a space 
that is clean that I can work in and I'm constantly doing laundry so it was nice to get that done. I am going to move upstairs and start shampooing our carpets. Again, this is one of those tasks that I cannot for the life of me remember when I've done this last. I, I think it's been every bit of a year. It's definitely been since I've been pregnant and had a baby so you can guarantee a good 10 months right there. So yeah, I just really wanted to get in here and shampoo our carpets. I also like to do this because I feel like it helps maintain our carpets and the longevity of them. Now they are just like simple builder grade carpets. We do plan on getting new carpet probably in the next year, um, but I am trying to make this last as much as I can and shampooing your carpets is definitely a way to make your carpet last. I want you guys to leave me a comment down below telling me what your least favorite chore to do is. I know I've asked this before on my channel, but I always love to hear what people love doing, what people don't love doing, because I feel like it's always opposite of everyone else. You know, like everybody has their own things that they enjoy doing and things that they don't enjoy doing. For me, I would have to say my least favorite chores are the bathrooms in general. I just hate cleaning the bathrooms. I feel like it's such a huge task. And it takes me like all day long to clean all three bathrooms, especially right now having a newborn. So that is something that I dread. I don't like doing tubs and showers and again, just the bathrooms in general. So leave me a comment down below letting me know what your least favorite chore is. We're gonna get into some organizing now. This is something that I've been needing to do. It just kind of gets out of hand every now and then, especially because I feel like I don't have the time to maintain my organization systems that are already in place, that I kind of just tend to throw things in there and forget they exist. So I am going to pull everything for the most part out of this cabinet. That way I can see everything in front of me and it makes it a lot easier to go through things. This is how I always reorganize my cabinets. You guys who've been watching me for a while know this is how I do this. It just makes it so much easier for me and honestly is the best time management wise for myself, especially right now. Again, I just don't have a lot of time to do these things. So I am gonna pull everything out. I'm gonna check expiration dates and there's a lot of like candy and junk in here that we just did not need to be holding on to. So I do throw away a lot of like the Easter candy. We're not big candy people and I just didn't really want it in the house anymore. So I'm gonna quickly go through all of this. I'll go through the medicines and our first aid stuff and just kind of get everything reorganized. My thoughts, oh, and I don't know which side is better. I try to connect all the dots, oh, to let you in behind my shelter. You could fit into my life when you 
understood in this night I would give away my soul But is it worth it? I don't know I don't, I don't know Come close so stay away. Oh, it's worse to let go inside of me. I don't wanna lead you astray. Well, give me clarity so I can see. You could fit into my life when it's daylight in this night. I will give away my soul. But is it worth it? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm now going to go through this cabinet and this is a very random cabinet right now. I have some extra organization stuff in here. I have our boxes of sandwich bags and freezer bags that don't fit into the drawer and just my grocery bags inside of a grocery bag. I feel like we all have those. Does everybody else have grocery bags inside of a grocery bag? I feel like that's a very normal thing to have. Um, and then I just had some like random extra pots and pans and stuff like that in here. So I really just wanted to kind of reconfigure stuff. I wasn't necessarily getting rid of anything in here. I just needed to reorganize it because it was one of those areas that I was throwing stuff into and then it just kind of became a big heaping pile. So I'm gonna take a few minutes and get all of that fixed up. We, we watch the sun go down over the same old Anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I am just going to be doing some simple everyday routine cleaning around my home. I am a stay at home mom so my days look a little bit different every single day so this isn't like a strict routine or anything but I like to go around my house and just kind of do things as they need to be done. And so that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. And I'm actually going to be starting out in my kitchen today, just putting away a few things and then I'm going to be starting on some dishes. I usually will run the dishwasher every single night, but I did not have to run it last night because it was not full enough to do that. So I am just going to do the couple of dishes that I have in the sink here and then I'm going to go ahead and run the dishwasher.
I'm not yours anymore. No, I'm not yours. I'm going to be starting on some home decorating here in my kitchen and these are just a few of the pieces that I picked out to just kind of refresh the space. I feel like it's been a while since I've bought home decor in general and so I was kind of itching just to add a few little pieces in here and so again these are just some of the things that I picked up um, and I'm really excited because I got some new glasses. I have been wanting to get a nice set of glasses since we moved into this house four years ago and I have no glasses you guys I have like four little blue cups that we have that we've been using I did have ten to start out with and slowly but surely they've all just kind of disappeared or been thrown out and it was just time so I picked up this set I loved the ribbed glasses and these were only 35 bucks for 12 glasses I feel like that's a steal anyway and I love them. I feel like they're really good quality. They're heavy. They don't feel cheap. And I'm just excited to have some glasses. So I'm going to get those washed up and dried off. That way I can put them away. And then I will begin wiping down the counters and starting to decorate the kitchen. Don't call me. I don't want to talk to you. I'm better off not talking to you. Why are you trying to hold on, to hold on, to hold on? Wanna take it differently, wanna play my own game And I don't need your hair, so won't you let me go? Wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me And throw it out the window I think that you should let go Cause you know this is not meant to be let go Since I was going to be putting the glasses in here, I decided to go ahead and declutter everything anyways. And I am putting our Disney mugs that we have up in this high cabinet. We don't use them a whole lot, but I love them and I feel like they're just a sentimental piece and I don't want to get rid of them. So I am going to throw them up there and just get rid of any other little odds and ends that I have in here as well. And while I'm doing this, I did want to introduce myself. If maybe you guys are new to my channel and this is your first time here, my name is Whitney. I am a stay-at-home mom, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. And my husband and I live in West Virginia, but we are originally from Maryland. We have three kids, a five-year-old son named Barrett, a three-year-old daughter named Savannah, and a three-month-old baby girl named Maddie. So if you hear little screeches in the background, that is actually my baby girl. She's sitting on my lap right now, and I'm trying to get through these voiceovers. But I do a ton of cleaning and organizing and all things motherhood here on my channel. So if that sounds like something that you guys would enjoy, I would love to have you subscribe and join our family. We love to meet new people and I really want to encourage you to leave a comment down below letting me know maybe where you're watching from, what your name is, what you're doing. That way I can say hello and welcome you to my channel. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright like a ricochet.
I originally put the bowl of lemons over here in this corner, but you guys will see in my little like after shot of this room, I actually moved it to the island and I feel like it looks a lot better there. It's more like a focal point, which is kind of what I was going for. You can kind of see it there on the island. Um, but now that I'm done doing all the decorating and wiping down all of the counters, I am just going to get in here and vacuum and then I will be mopping in here as well. I always get questions on what I use to mop and honestly I go through little phases of what I'm using but right now I'm using just a little bit of pine salt. I like the way that it smells. I feel like it smells very fresh and clean um, and sometimes I'll just use a little bit of vinegar and dish soap or Tide powder. I mean I feel like I use all kinds of things in my house. It really just depends on my mood and what I have on hand. Okay, now we are gonna move into the living room. This is a room that is the heart of the home. This is where we all hang out as a family. This is where the kids like to hang out most of the day. And it does get a little bit messy, although I am surprised it's not more messy. I feel like my living room is usually pretty trash. Um, but I'm just gonna get in here, put everything away, put any dishes in the sink. Then I'm going to be vacuuming down the couch, dusting, and then I will finish off in here by vacuuming the whole room and just getting everything nice and tidy not too much like deep cleaning or anything but you know just doing like basic routine cleaning in here Maddie had just woken up from her nap so she was a little bit fussy and kind of looking at me like I was crazy with the camera. I always love to watch her little face whenever I'm vacuuming or doing anything loud. She looks so confused and I don't know why but I just think it's the cutest thing ever. I picked up this salt scent from the Hearth and Hand collection and I love the way it smells. I feel like it's just the perfect scent for summer. It's very light, it's very fresh, it's not overpowering and I feel like I can use it in all areas of my house. So I do just spray that in the kitchen and into the living room and then I'm all done in there. Um, I do have some shoes at the back door here that need to be picked up. I feel like this is an everyday thing because we're constantly in and out of the house. Um, 
oh my goodness, through the back door. But I also wanted to wipe the door down, so I am just gonna take a few minutes and wipe this door down using my Spray Away glass cleaner. I am going to move upstairs now and work on the kids' bedrooms and just making their beds and doing a little bit of tidying up in here. This is something that I try to do every day. Um, now, obviously, I don't deep clean the kitchen and living room every day. I just don't have time to do that. Maddie was in a decent mood this day, so I was able to get some stuff done around the house, but I do try to make the beds every morning. Um, I don't usually get in here and vacuum on a daily basis. I try to do this every couple of days or so just because the kids play in here a lot and there's crumbs and things, um, but I do always try to make the beds. Now I don't do the master bedroom in today's video because I'm actually working on a bedroom refresh in there, and so there's a lot of boxes and things are kind of chaotic in there at the moment so I don't film myself in there but I do make the bed in there every morning as well as soon as I get up that's the first thing that I do but yeah all I do in here is just make the beds and then do some light vacuuming This wouldn't be a complete routine cleaning without some laundry. I feel like I have laundry every single day. Um, I'm a little bit behind on laundry right now, but on a typical day, I usually try to do a load of laundry a day so that I don't get behind. But life does happen, things do happen, we get busy, the baby's cranky, whatever it is. And I have just not had time to keep up with the laundry, but that's okay, things happen. So I am just gonna take a few minutes here and fold a couple loads of laundry and then get all of that put away as well. Okay, the last room that I'm going to be tackling in today's video is the playroom and it was completely trashed. There was stuff all over the place and we don't usually let the kids mess up the playroom this badly, but I was just letting them be kids, letting them play however they wanted because the baby was really fussy and I just, I just wanted them to have some fun. Um, on a typical day, they're only allowed to take out one bin at a time and they have to put it away before they take something else out. And I knew I was going to be filming the next day, so I was like, you know what, whatever, just go play, go have fun. 
and so I had a ton of cleaning to do. Um, a lot of toys to cycle through and reorganize, but I needed to get in here and reorganize anyway. I feel like a lot of the bins over time, they kind of get mixed together and then the kids can't find the things that they're looking for. And so that is what I'm gonna be working on now is just getting our playroom put back together, putting all the toys away. We had like some chalk on the floor and ripped up paper and just all kinds of things. So I'm gonna take the next few minutes here and just get the playroom put back together. I've been really trying to have the kids only play in the playroom and keep most of their toys in here because when Maddie starts crawling I'm getting really anxious about just little toys being out and around in the living room and her getting hold of them and putting them in her mouth and so we're trying to teach our kids now to be really aware of their surroundings and making sure that they're picking up after themselves and not leaving crumbs on the floor and all of that stuff so I do plan on getting baby gates in here, that way it kind of contains the mess even more, but it is something that I'm hyper aware of and really anxious about as soon as she starts crawling, and so we're just trying to get our kids into the habit now. I had noticed that there was crayon on the table and Santa had told me it was an accident but then I found some on the play kitchen and so needless to say the crayons are going to be staying up until I'm able to supervise her coloring um, but that is actually going to end today's video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today as always thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles, screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us, and we can stay up all night. Kissing under street lights. Doing what we want to, doing what we need to do, staying up all night, everything is alright, oh I wanna be with you, oh I wanna be with you, let me be the someone who can hold your head, I don't even know if you can understand, how you make me feel I like got you in my head. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Either way, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I am going to be doing some more spring cleaning. If you guys missed my last spring cleaning video, I will leave that linked down below so that you guys can watch that one as well. I'm also going to be planning another spring cleaning video in a couple of weeks, but for today I'm mostly going to be focusing my spring cleaning in the living room. Something that I really wanted to tackle this day was the couch. I really wanted to strip the couch down, wash all of the couch covers, really get in and vacuum in and around the couch and just to get everything fresh and cleaned up. It had been a while since I have done this and I just felt it was really needed and I thought it would be really great to kick off the spring cleaning in my living room with the couch. I am listening to Crime Junkie today while I am cleaning and I want you guys to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you are doing today while you're watching my video. Are you guys on your lunch break? Are you enjoying your morning coffee? Let me know in the comments down below.
Maddie was actually sleeping while I was filming here and I didn't want to disturb her, so instead of spending that time vacuuming down the couch, I went ahead and used this time while she was sleeping to tackle my windows. You guys can see just how dirty these are and I explained in my last spring cleaning video that our windows that face the back of the house get really dirty on the outside and the ones that face the front of our house, they just don't at all. I don't know if the rain hits our house at a certain angle or what it is, but the back windows needed some TLC today. So I am just going to take a few minutes and go through all of the windows in the living room and just get those wiped down and nice and clean. While I am tackling the windows, I wanted to use this time and introduce myself if maybe this is your first time visiting my channel or maybe you're new to my channel. My name is Whitney. I am a stay-at-home mom. I have three kids. I have a five-year-old son named Barrett, a three-year-old daughter named Savannah, and a, when you're watching, six-week-old baby girl named Maddie. My husband and I live in West Virginia and here on my channel I do a ton of cleaning and organizing. I try to keep it real with the mom life and be transparent with how messy my house gets because I'm a real human being. My house gets messy. That's just part of being a mama and I want you all to know that you are not alone in your mess in your home and I'm here to motivate you and encourage you to get some cleaning done in your home. I also like to sprinkle in a little bit of home decorating, recipes, grocery hauls, and all of that fun stuff. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I would really love for you guys to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We love meeting new people from all over the world. And if you are new to my channel today, I really want to encourage you to leave a comment down below letting me know where you are watching from. So that way I can say hi and welcome you to my channel. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you would not have seen this, but I did ask over there some questions that maybe you guys had for me to answer in today's video. Sometimes it's really hard for me to come up with things to talk about or honestly really what to say, so I feel like sometimes questions are really good fillers for voiceovers, and it's another way for you guys to kind of get to know me and get to know each other in the comments section. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with some of the questions that you guys had for me and a big one that I had from a lot of people is was the transition from 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 harder? Now this is going to vary from every single parent. I've heard both versions from people. Some people think 1 to 2 is easier and other people think 2 to 3 is easier. For me personally, 
I think two to three has been way easier than one to two, but I will say I think this is mainly because my first two kids are only 21 months apart, and so when I had my second baby, my son was still a very small toddler. He wasn't really talking yet, he couldn't do a lot on his own, he was still in diapers, and so it was honestly like taking care of two babies at one time, except for they weren't on the same developmental level, and so it was a lot harder on me personally and this time with adding a third baby my first two kids are a lot older they're a lot more independent they're able to get themselves snacks and go to the bathroom and do all of that stuff on their own they can play together and keep each other occupied and so the age gap between my second baby and my third baby is three and a half years and it has made this transition so much easier on me now i think if maybe i had a third baby right after I had my second, so maybe two years after I had her, I think it would have been a lot harder. But again, this is going to vary from every single person. Everyone's situation is unique, and so this is just my experience, and I personally think that two to three has been a lot easier. So the next question that I'm going to answer is who does Maddie resemble most compared to your other kids? Now I love this question because when I was pregnant with Maddie and we got her little 3D picture, I could have sworn she looked so much like Savannah but a lot of you thought she looked like Barrett. And so I was like, okay, whatever. And then when she was born, I still couldn't really tell who she looked more like. I just feel like I was so in the moment with her and it was all so new that I just didn't really, I couldn't really tell who she looked like. But as she's gotten older and filling out into her body more, I have to say she looks just like her big brother and her dad especially when she's awake with her eyes all alert she looks so much like barrett when he was a baby and it's just so cute i have like the little girl version of my little boy and it's just so funny seeing pictures of them compared to one another i'll have to put some on instagram or something or maybe i'll throw two pictures here on the screen for you guys so you can see barrett as a baby and then you can see maddie as a baby Now, I don't show you guys the finished product, but this is a really easy, quick crock pot recipe. You take six chicken breasts, a full bottle of Russian dressing, two spoonfuls of the apricot preserves, and then an entire packet of the Lipton French onion soup. Oh my gosh, it is so good, you guys, over rice. It's delicious. We have this at least once a week in my house. I usually have the recipe for Tim and myself, but for an entire family, I recommend doing the six chicken breast um, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down the counters I'm also going to be deep cleaning my stove top it's been a while since I've done this and I really needed to get in and scrub down some of those 
burnt on spots that are on my cooktop. And today I'm using the pink stuff and a scrub mommy to do this. This is my favorite way to really scrub down my cooktop. I just feel like it does such a good job and it gets all of those burnt on pieces off of there. Another question that I got asked on my Instagram poll was, will your husband ever be more vocal or present in your videos? Now, I'm going to say no, just because my husband, he's very reserved. He likes to be kept to himself. He doesn't really like to be on video or in pictures or things like that. And I'm not going to ask him or force him to be in my videos if he doesn't want to. Now sometimes he really does enjoy um, helping me clean in a cleaning video or something like that, but I don't think he'll ever be um, on the screen as like a vlogging aspect. I don't think he'll ever do that, which is totally fine with me. I would, however, really like for him to do voiceovers on a cleaning video one time. I think it would be really funny and he agreed that he would maybe one day do that in the future because he too thinks that that would be hilarious. My husband is very funny. He has a very like dry sense of humor. So if that is up your alley, you will find that video hilarious. So maybe that is something that we will do in the future. Um, but for right now, as our life currently is, I do not see my husband being more vocal or present in my videos aside from like being in the background of a cleaning video or helping me assemble furniture organizing things like that Now I'm going to be sharing the most beautiful set of pots and pans I have ever had in my entire life. I am so excited to be working with Caraway on today's video. Now this is not sponsored, but they did gift these pots and pans to me to share with you guys. I have been eyeballing these for some time and so I was really excited to be working with them on today's video. These pots and pans are top notch quality, you guys. They are so heavy and just really good quality. They're also fairly large, so you could easily cook for a large family with these pots and pans, no problem. They are 100% non-toxic ceramic coated cookware, so they are a safer alternative to the traditional non-stick cookware that you would find at a normal store. And I just think Again, they are just so beautiful and I'm so excited to have them in my home. And what I also love about these is they come with a lid organizer, which I think is the coolest thing ever. That way they're not like shoving around in your cabinet and they have like a designated space on the door. So I was very excited about that. And then it also comes with these cute pot holders. So very excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get them washed up. And then I'm gonna show you guys the organization system that comes with the pot and pans and really just kind of transforms your cabinet. And you know you're an adult when you get excited over things like pots and pans and organization.
Hey, like you're feeling sorry. Here's what my little cabinet looks like now. It's just kind of a jumbled mess, honestly. It's really hard to utilize the space in these cabinets. I do not like how my cabinets have half of a shelf. Like, I wish the entire shelf was the length of the cabinet, but hey, you kind of have to work with what you got. So I'm gonna pull everything out of here, give it a nice wipe down, and then I will go ahead and put all of the pots and pans in here. Now what's really cool is the organization that it comes with is magnetic. So it does hold all of the pots and pans together and just really transforms your entire cabinet. Once I got all of the pots and pans in there and everything nice and organized, I am gonna go ahead and put on the lid organizer and put the lids in there and it just looks so nice. And I'm so excited to have this system in my kitchen. If you guys are interested, again, I do have a code for 10% off. All you have to do is click the link in my description to receive that code. And that code is good until April 27th. All right, and then the last thing that I'm going to be doing in today's video is just giving my half bathroom a really nice deep clean. I'm gonna be wiping down the mirror, I clean the shelf as you guys saw, wiping down the countertops in the bathroom, and then I'll be mopping in here as well and just giving this bathroom a much needed deep clean. Anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to do some cleaning in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. You guys mean the world to me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new either way I'm so excited to have you guys here today I am just gonna be doing some simple routine cleaning around my home today and I'm also going to be doing a bedroom refresh I got some new bedding new pillows and some new decor to go in there as well so I'm really excited to share that with you guys now I am a stay-at-home mom so my days look 
very different every single day. I try to go through my house and just do what needs to be done that day, whether it's deep cleaning or laundry or just straightening up the house. And that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video, just going around my home and just doing some straightening up, some deep cleaning, and just doing what needs to be done around the house. So I am starting out in our living room today, as you can see, and just picking up in here. I really wanted to give the couch a really good vacuum, and I wanted to vacuum inside of the cushions as well, because the other day when I picked up one of the cushions that had fallen off, there was just so many crumbs. So I really wanted to get this done today. And then once I'm done doing that, I am just going to finish cleaning up in here and then I will finish off by vacuuming the carpet. While I was cleaning here in the living room, I actually got a package delivered to the door and I was really excited because I knew that it was my new cleaning products. I asked you guys here on YouTube what your favorite multi-purpose cleaners were and a lot of you said the Everspring brand from Target. I guess it's like their brand of like Mrs. Myers essentially. Um, so I decided to try them out and I actually really like them. The scents are really nice, but they're very light. I feel like they're not overpowering and that's exactly what I was going for. So I did pick up two multi-purpose cleaners and then I got like the matching fragrance in the dish soap. So I just wanted to show that with you guys because that is what I'm going to be cleaning my house with today. Um, so moving upstairs, I'm going to start working on our bedroom and I'm so excited to like finally get the bedroom looking how I want. Um, so I'm just starting out by picking some stuff up, straightening up here and there, and I'm actually going to be taking our bassinet out of here. We do bed share with Maddie. We've bed shared with all of our kids, and so I'm not even really sure why I bought a bassinet to begin with. And then I'm also going to be practicing nap time in her crib in the girls' room. So it was just taking up space and honestly just kind of acted as like a laundry basket at the end of the day. Um, so I was excited to have some more room on my side of the bed. And then again, I'm just going to go through the room and wipe everything down and then just finish picking some stuff up. And then I'm going to start working on the bed and just getting all of that assembled. And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. I finally got a headboard. I know there's a few of you who were really wanting me to get a headboard or had been suggesting one for some time now. So I did finally get one. I asked you guys here on YouTube if I should do like a wood headboard or do a tufted one and so many of you said to do the tufted. So I went with the tufted headboard and I'm so glad that I did. I just feel like it really 
brings the whole room together with the lamps and the picture and I'm just loving how the space is turning out so far. I will link everything down below including our duvet cover, the headboard, the picture, and any decor that I use in here as well. Um, and while I'm kind of assembling our bed and getting all of that situated, I did want to introduce myself if maybe you guys are new to my channel today. My name is Whitney. I am a stay-at-home mom as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. My husband and I live in West Virginia and we have three kids, a five-year-old son named Barrett, a almost four-year-old daughter named Savannah, and a three-month-old baby girl named Maddie. I do a ton of cleaning and organizing and all things motherhood here on my channel, so if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, I would love to have you subscribe and join the family. We love to meet new people and love to chat with you guys in the comments, and I really want to encourage you to leave a comment down below letting me know what you're doing today, what your weekend plans are, and that way I can welcome you to my channel. bedroom is done and I love how it turned out. I just feel like it's more my style. I'm really into more of like the organic modern style here lately and I just, I'm just in love with it. So I'm going to move on to the kitchen now and get things straightened up in here. You guys can see it's a little bit of a mess, not too crazy. Again, I'm just doing like the daily mess cleaning today. So I'm going to start with putting a few of the clean dishes away. And then I did have a full load of dishes in the dishwasher to put away before I could do all of the dishes and get those put into the dishwasher. Once I'm done putting all of the dishes away and doing the dishes, I did just want to quickly clean out the sink and scrub this down. This is something that I try to do every night before I go to bed, but last night it was just a busy night and I did not get the chance to clean up the kitchen like I usually do. And so I'm just going to take a few minutes here and get this all done nice and clean and then I will move on and start wiping down the counters. Won't you let me go? Wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window? 
Now, I don't know how many of you guys know this or not, but I do have a vlog channel that I started when I was 38 weeks pregnant with Maddie, and so it is relatively new. I'm still like kind of all over the place with that channel, but um, as many of you know, we are going to Georgia in just a month for my brother's wedding. Now, I do plan on doing like a pack and clean with me before vacation type of video here on this channel, but I wanted to ask you guys if you would want me to actually vlog the vacation on my vlog channel. Um, we are going to be down there for five days. We're going to be going to Savannah, which I've never been to Savannah and I'm so excited to go there. I've heard great things. I know that it's beautiful. Um, and then we will be in like the Atlanta area because that's where my brother lives. That's where the wedding is. Um, and then we're actually going to be visiting Covington, which is where the Vampire Diaries was filmed. And so like the Mystic Girl is there in the little town and I am definitely going there while I'm down there. I'm pretty sure it's only like 10 minutes from where we are staying, so I'm so excited. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys if that's something that you would like to see on my vlog channel. Um, because honestly, I really want to vlog it because I think it would be a lot of fun. Even though it hurts, I won't show it to you. Cause it will ricochet, I won't let it bite. I will look at you and tell you that I'm alright. Like a ricochet, it will come right to you. Let me tell you. I'm going to finish off in the kitchen today by vacuuming and mopping and I'm just using some pine saw to mop today. Um, as I said, I think in my last video, sometimes I switch back and forth between pine saw or Tide powder, whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, here lately it's been pine saw. I just feel like it leaves a really nice fresh scent, especially for the summertime. last actual space that I'm going to be cleaning today is the bathroom. Um, this is something that I have to do daily. I do have a little boy and you moms with boys, I don't even have to say it. You know exactly what that means, you know, pee everywhere. So I do try to get in here and clean up as much as I can. Um, just having little ones in the bathroom and the sink's always wet because they're trying to wash their hands And so I just like to get in here daily if I can and just really wipe things down get things cleaned up So I'm just gonna take a few minutes here and focus on cleaning up the bathroom
I do try to do a load of laundry every day. I feel like this is the only way that I can really keep up with the laundry and not feel like I'm falling behind. Obviously, I'm not perfect. That doesn't happen all the time. There are weekends where I'm doing like eight or nine loads of laundry in one sitting, but I have been really trying to do a load every day, especially with just how full my plate is lately with the baby and the kids and the housework and then my actual work. I just feel like it really helps me out when I do a load every single day. I'm actually going to end today's video right here. I know it's kind of random, but this is kind of where I ended my day of cleaning. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually going to be tackling my whole house in this video. My kids recently stopped school so we are on summer break and I really just wanted to get in my house today and get everything reset, clean every single room and just start our summer off on a good foot. I am going to be tackling both the upstairs and the downstairs and I go through almost every single room. I don't do the upstairs bathroom or the playroom. But other than that, this is going to bring you guys so much cleaning motivation and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I'm also going to be sharing a really awesome jewelry company later on in this video. So a big thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And I will get into that a little bit later. But for now, I am going to be starting out this cleaning video in my master bedroom. I feel like I always start upstairs in my cleaning videos, but that's just kind of how I do my routine. I always work from the top of my house to the bottom and also it's just easier to clean upstairs when my whole family is hanging out downstairs and I just kind of have the entire upstairs to get things done. I'm going to be doing all the things in here, dusting, vacuuming, putting things away and just getting this room nice and tidy. If you guys happen to be new to my channel or maybe this is the very first video that you stumbled upon, I really wanted to introduce myself. My name is Whitney. I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband and I live in West Virginia, but we are originally from Maryland. We have three kids, a five-year-old son, a three-year-old daughter, and a three-month-old baby girl. I cannot believe Maddie is three months old already. I feel like the time is flying by. I do a ton of cleaning and organizing and all things motherhood here on my channel, and I always try to keep it real and show you guys the chaos and the mess because I know how our homes can get having little ones, so I never try to pre-clean or anything like that to really just motivate you guys and encourage you and let you know 
know that you're not alone. If you are new to my channel today, I really want to encourage you to leave a comment down below, letting me know maybe where you're watching from or what you're doing while you're watching my video. So that way I can say hello and welcome you to my channel. Yeah, I want your body, body, body too, yeah, body too. So I know I was saying before that my kids are home on summer break. They are all done school. Bear actually starts kindergarten in the fall and it's just crazy to me. I feel like my kids are growing up so fast. But one thing that I really want to do this summer is kind of create like a summer bucket list and things to do with the kids. I really want to make this summer fun. We did have some major life changes with the baby and everything. So I really just want them to have a great summer. So I really want to ask you guys and maybe see if you guys will leave some comments down below of some ideas that we can do this summer that won't like break the bank or anything, but are just like a lot of fun to do with kids. Um, I am down for any ideas whether it's stuff at home or if we need to go somewhere I just want to make the ultimate bucket list and just have a really fun summer with my kids I know that I said I was going to be doing primarily vlog style videos lately, um, but this week, for whatever reason, Maddie is just so fussy. She's constantly crying. Um, and so it was just a lot easier for me to just film when I could and then come back in here later and edit in some voiceovers. I feel like there's no easy way around doing YouTube. I'm just kind of winging it over here. So I'm just doing the best that I can. I'm having a really hard time finding that balance between doing things for myself and you know, having the time for the kids and my spouse and it's just a lot and I just want to encourage you guys and let you know if you're feeling the same way, you are not alone. We are all in this together. Um, but one thing that I have always pretty much done for myself is I do try to get ready every day. Even if I don't get ready until like 5 p.m., I still feel productive and I still feel like I'm doing something for myself. And honestly, sometimes I just throw on some leggings and a sweatshirt, but I will always put on jewelry. I feel like the minute I put jewelry on, I just feel like my day is so much better. I've always been really into jewelry. It's something that I've always just really loved and been passionate about and just have fun like shopping around for. And so I'm really excited to be working with Ana Luisa for today's video. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And I am so excited to share this company with you guys. They have the most beautiful jewelry. I was really impressed when I opened it and saw it in person. It is so much more beautiful in person. Not only is their jewelry simple and beautiful and timeless, but they are also a carbon neutral company. So there's no unnecessary mining or excessive markups. They are using recycled materials whenever they possibly can and are 100% carbon and water neutral, which is just awesome. Like I, I love a good company, but I also love a good company who does good for our planet as well. I feel like that is so important and something that I've always been very passionate about. And I got three pieces of jewelry that I'm so excited to show you guys. For starters, I got these really beautiful, dainty little hoops. I have worn gold hoops for as long as I can remember. They are the perfect everyday staple. And then I also got this really cute, dainty little daisy necklace. I'm obsessed with this. I've worn it every single day since I've gotten it. 
and you can change the length of the chain as well so I love that and then I also got this cute ring with this tiny little diamond and I'm obsessed with it I think it is so cute and I love all of these pieces but I love that you can wear them all together even more I feel like they complement each other really well and they all come with their own little cases that is perfect for travel so if you are interested in checking out Ana Luisa I do have a code for 10% off for you guys so I will leave that linked down below and thank Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Alright you guys, it's actually the next day. Um, it's the day after Memorial Day. Tim had the morning off. He goes into work late tonight, so we decided to run into Costco and get quite a bit of things. We had just a lot of stuff we needed to get from Costco this time around. I try to go to Costco probably every like two or three months, um, sometimes more frequently, it just depends. But this time it had been a few months since we had gone. So I have a huge Costco haul for you guys that I'm gonna share really quickly. All right, so here is everything. I'm just gonna kind of start. Um, so Savannah really wanted some popsicles even though we already had some but I went ahead and got those um, Some mac and cheese. I really just wanted different variety for them They were getting kind of sick of just the normal craft mac and cheese that I would normally get so I went ahead and got this um, We do have emergency food. I'm not gonna get into that, but we did go ahead and pick that up as well um, Some Clorox wipes. We did get some chips. The kids really wanted some chips um, and then I have these mini beef sticks. Tim likes to take the beef jerky to work, but they didn't have any today. So we went ahead and got these instead. Um, some fruit snacks, some Cheez-Its. Um, we love chicken patties. These are great for like a quick lunch. You can cut them up, put them on salad, whatever. And then this time around, I got frozen chicken breast. My mom was talking about how good these were instead of just getting like the normal chicken and then putting it in the freezer i decided to go ahead and get these so i'm excited to try those um and then what else we have some crackers and then i'm so excited for these so um loving life is megan she had some macaroons when she was in town visiting us and the kids loved them so much and i saw these at costco and i had to get them and they have so many flavors so i'm really excited to try those um, we have some sandwich bags some spaghetti pasta down there and then we do have the peanut butter pretzels love these they are a great snack um, a couple cases of body armor some pasta sauce and then we have some toilet paper, some juice, which we got into in the car. The kids were really thirsty. Um, a case of water, and then just some good old Rice Krispie treats. So that is everything that I got from Costco today. I think we spent, I think it was like $3.50 and some change. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put away, and then I'm going to start cleaning the downstairs of our house. We're falling out, we have reached disaster. Don't know where we're gonna be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. We're falling, falling down, we faded. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of us down I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter I know Once I have put all of the groceries away I am going to come into the living room And get that straightened up The kids were actually outside playing in the sprinkler And so I decided to take this time And just tackle the living room while I could we do typically spend most of our time in the living room, so it's very hard to find the time to film in here just because I don't really want to like tell my kids to get out to film. So I always try to take advantage of this time when I can. So I'm going to get in here, pick up all of the toys and all of the things on the floor, and then I'm going to be taking off our pillow covers because I really wanted to wash them and just get them freshened up and ready for summer.
I also desperately needed to wipe down our back door. We had some bird poop on there. I'm honestly impressed that a bird could angle themselves enough to get on our glass door. I don't know how they managed to do that, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. I'm just using the Spray Away glass cleaner to do this. And then I will take a Clorox wipe and just wipe down the handles on the door. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Even if we go all out and break us down, you yeah, can work it out. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Even if we go all out and break us down, you yeah, can work it out. Now, I know it looks like it's a different day. I changed my outfit. It was so hot on this day. I think it was like 95 degrees and it was getting really warm in the house, so I wanted to change. But I am going to get in here and vacuum down the couch. And yes, I do have to punch and kick the back cushions to get them fluffed up. They get flattened out so quickly and honestly, I just don't love this couch. So many of you guys ask about it and where it's from, but I do not recommend this couch. I don't recommend that you buy it. I will gladly give you the link and tell you where I got it from, but I will tell you the honest truth. I just don't love this couch. It hasn't held up over the years. We've had it for about four years now and it's just completely trashed. It definitely it's definitely run its course, but we're trying to hang on to it until Maddie is done potty training and then we will invest in a new couch. I feel like there's always hidden gems under a couch when you have kids and this day it was almost an entire little pack of Cheez-Its that I found under there so that's always fun. Um, but once I'm done with the living room I am just going to quickly clean our half bathroom downstairs. I really just get in here, wipe down the mirror, the counter, the toilet, you know, the whole shebang. Now I do mop my entire first floor, but I actually did not film it. I had to come back downstairs at like midnight one night to get it done just because that's just the season of life that I'm in. I'm just not able to do it all. Um, and believe it or not, I had to pause I want to say like a hundred times during this video while I was filming. I felt like every time I did one little task, I had to pause and either help a kid or soothe the baby, whatever it was. It just was one of those days for me. So I know it looks like I get it all done and I'm doing all the things in my video, but you guys aren't seeing the whole picture. And I want you to remember that because that is true for so many YouTubers. You're not seeing the whole picture. You're not seeing the... 30 takes that I did in between these clips to help out my kids. So just keep that in mind and don't ever compare yourselves to other people on the internet because I promise you, we are not doing it all either. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. To just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you. What Moving on to the kitchen, it was a mess this day. I had not cleaned the kitchen all day, so I had dishes from breakfast and lunch and just trash everywhere, um, leftover trash from Costco and all of that stuff. So. 
I needed to get this done and tackled before it was bedtime. I want to say it was about 7.30 at this point, so I was like rushing to get all of this done because bedtime in my house is absolute chaos, and so I want to get as much done as I can before that happens since it does take a couple of hours sometimes. And I did have a full load of dishes to put away, so I did do that first, and then I will kind of work my way around the room. I try to do things in sections, so then I will do the dishes, and then, you know, I'll go around the room and pick stuff up and then wipe down the counters and, you know, just doing all the things in the kitchen today. As much as I love the Mrs. Myers cleaning sprays, I'm honestly just kind of tired of them. I feel like I've been using them for so long that I'm just itching to try something new. So I want you guys to leave me some recommendations down below of your favorite multi-purpose cleaners. Um, specifically the ones that have more of like a fresh scent. I'm not a huge like floral person or like overwhelming scents. I really just enjoy like a nice light fresh scent. So leave me your recommendations down below. I would love to hear what products you guys are loving. The last thing that I'm going to be tackling in today's video is just vacuuming down the kitchen. Um, I do mop and I mentioned that earlier that I came back down this night and I mopped after I had put everybody to bed. It's just easier that way and I actually ended up mopping the entire first floor so coming down the next morning it was just so nice. It was so uh, I just love coming downstairs to a nice clean home. But anyway, that is actually going to be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. You guys are the best and I appreciate each and every one of you so much. And again, thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to go check them out. I have that linked down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Won't you let me go? Why take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window? I think that you should let go. Cause you know this is not meant to be. Let go. Maybe I should head down.
Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Either way, I'm so excited to have you guys here today. I am going to be doing some kind of like maintenance cleaning around my home today. Every week I like to just really get into every single room and kind of reset for the week ahead. And on this day, it was Friday when I was filming and so it was the perfect opportunity to do this. I really wanted the house to be cleaned up and ready for the weekend ahead. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be getting into every single room and just tidying up. I'm also going to be sharing a really delicious lunch with you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. And a big thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now, I am a stay-at-home mom, so my cleaning looks very different every single day. This is something that I will try to do weekly. Now, on like a day-to-day -day basis, I like to just do some cleaning around my house that I feel like needs to be done. This can include deep cleaning, laundry, or maintenance cleaning, but on days like today, I really just like to focus on just the tidying up of every area and less on the deep cleaning. So I'm going to start out on the playroom today. I usually have my kids do this, but again, I like to just get in here once a week and kind of reset in here, make sure all of the cubes are organized the way that they should be. Sometimes toys like to mingle in with others when my kids clean up, so I like to just get in here and make sure everything is put back together. Savannah has this really cute magnetic puzzle that my mom actually got for her and I believe it's by Melissa and Doug and she's missing a few of the pieces in this puzzle that I'm working on right now which is kind of a bummer because I feel like these are really cute for little kids. Um, I'm going to see if they have more of these. I feel like they're perfect for travel or if you're going somewhere and you need like an activity for your kids to do. I feel like that these are perfect for that. So. I'd really like to get her more of these if I can. If you guys happen to be new to my channel today or you're recently new to my channel, I did just want to introduce myself. My name is Whitney, I'm a stay-at-home mom. My husband and I live in West Virginia and we have three kids, a five-year-old son named Barrett, an almost four-year-old daughter named Savannah, and an almost four-month-old baby girl named Maddie. I do a ton of cleaning and organizing and all things motherhood here on my channel. I always try to keep it real and share the chaos and mess of motherhood with you guys. If this sounds like something you guys would enjoy, I would love to have you subscribe and join the family and leave me a comment down below letting me know where you are watching from today so that I can welcome you to my channel. I'm going to be switching over the laundry. I had our load of sheets in the washer this morning because Maddie had an accident in our bed and so I had to strip everything and get that washed but I also wanted to just go ahead and wash everybody's sheets since I was doing this anyway and it is something that I like to get in and do once a week as well. So I'm going to head upstairs. I'm going to grab Barrett's sheets and get those washing because he only has one set of sheets for his bed. I really need to get him another set. I just, you know, Things happen and I always forget to grab some. So I'm gonna get his washing and then I'm going to change out the sheets on Savannah's bed as well. She does have another set so I'm able just to make her bed and get her room cleaned up really quickly. So that's what I'm gonna focus on here for the next couple of minutes.
I'm going to be working on doing naps in the girls' room with Maddie, and so her crib sheet, I actually have never washed. I just kind of threw it on there just to finish the room whenever I was doing their room makeover. But now I'm going to go ahead and wash that. I also have one of those mattress covers that I need to wash too. Um, and then I'll be practicing on naps in here, which is crazy. She's already almost four months old and she's just growing up so fast. She's becoming such like a happy little... I don't know, she's just so much fun to watch grow. So I'm excited to start working on that. Um, and then again, I will just finish off in here, vacuum, and then I will move downstairs and start the load of sheets. That way they can be washing while I'm kind of working on the rest of the house. It is lunchtime and I was really hungry so I'm going to go ahead and move to the kitchen and make myself some lunch and a big thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Now being a mom of three it's really hard to find time to make myself a nutritious well balanced meal. I'm sure a lot of you moms can relate to that. I'm notorious for eating like my kids leftover peanut butter and jelly crust for lunch and then I realize it's four o'clock and I haven't ate anything at all that day and I'm trying to be better about doing that because I am breastfeeding and it's really important to eat like nutritious, well-balanced meals and making sure you're getting calories in and it's just something that I really need to be better on. Factor provides balanced eating made simple. They have a menu each week with dozens of delicious, nutritious meals. Factor offers meat, seafood, and veggie-based dishes and preferences that include keto, calorie smart, and chef's favorites. These pre-portioned meals come together in minutes. You guys saw I just pop it in the microwave for two minutes and boom, I have a well-balanced, nutritious meal to eat right here at home. I feel like these would also be really great for those of you who might be working and still want like a hot, nutritious meal. I feel like that these would be really good for you as well. And what's really cool is Factor actually offers a complimentary nutrition coach with all of their subscriptions, which includes one 20-minute consult with a Register dietitian to gain tailored advice for your wellness journey. So if you're like, you know, trying to lose weight and maybe trying to eat better, they have that as part of their subscription, which I think is just so cool. If you are interested in Factor, I do have a code for you guys. You can use my code WhitneyP120 to get started with Factor for $6.19 per meal and up to $120 off five weeks. So I will leave all of that information down below. And again, a big thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. The kitchen on this day wasn't too bad. I really just needed to get in here and get all the dishes off of the counters and the table and get them put away into the dishwasher and just wipe down the counters. I feel like my kitchen was in a pretty good shape this day, but I also had filmed only a few days prior. That was my last video that you guys saw, so the house wasn't really all too terrible. Um, it just needed some, like I said, some good maintenance cleaning. I 
I do still like to pick one task that doesn't really fall into maintenance cleaning too much that I wanted to accomplish that day. Um, and this day it was my pantry. I also really need to tackle my fridge, but I will try to do that in my next video. But this was a mess and it wasn't really like so messy as there was just stuff everywhere and not in the places that they were supposed to be and it was getting kind of hard to find things and so I really just wanted to get in here and reorganize stuff and get things put back into their proper place. I also had some expired stuff in here I needed to get rid of as well and to stock some snacks. So I'm going to spend the next few minutes doing this and just getting our pantry put back together. I'm going to be using this Everspring Spearmint and Orange Multi-Purpose Cleaner to wipe down the counters today. I shared this in my last video and I love it. It's I feel like it's the perfect fresh scent without being overpowering. And I also have the dish soap. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I was kind of waiting to use up the rest of the soap that I already have. So I'll have to let you guys know how I like their dish soap. But so far, the Multi-Purpose Cleaner, 10 out of 10 for me. I'm going to be wiping down our kitchen table. I always do this last because usually the kids are eating lunch or something while I'm starting to straighten up the kitchen. I like to straighten up the kitchen twice a day. I usually wait until after lunch to straighten up the first time and then I will straighten it up again after dinner, after the kids go to bed, and that way I can wake up to a clean kitchen. But that doesn't always happen. That wasn't the case for last night and so I did have some dinner mess combined with some lunch mess this day. And honestly, this happens more often than not here lately just because with baby Maddie, she Honestly, it takes me a few hours to get her to bed sometimes and then I'm so tired that I don't feel like cleaning. It does happen. I'm not perfect, um, but I am going to get in here and sweep this day because she was napping and I did not want to wake her up with the vacuum cleaner. Um, usually I would mop as well, but again, I had just mopped two days prior to this and the floors were surprisingly not that sticky, so I didn't really feel like it was needed. It was laundry day for me. Now, I do try to do a load of laundry every day, but the rest of the laundry still catches up to me. And so I really like to focus um, and take one day over the weekend and just knock whatever laundry out that I can. And so I was just sorting through all of the laundry. That way it was ready to go for me and I could just get in there and just get all of the laundry done. I am gonna move upstairs into our bedroom and just quickly tidy up in here, make the bed and vacuum 
vacuum. Now, I didn't have a ton of cleaning to do in here because I did completely make over this bedroom in my last video. I did like a bedroom refresh and I did a little bit of deep cleaning and so it wasn't really all that messy. Um, if you guys missed that video, I will leave it linked up here in the cards. It was a really good video and I'm really proud of it and you guys seem to be really loving it as well. And so if you missed it, I will leave it linked here on the screen and in the description box for you. Going to move back into the girls room now I did have a load of baby clothes to fold and put away really quickly um, lately I've been trying to fold the clothes in the room that it needs to be going into I feel like this has been easier for me to put it away I don't mind doing laundry but I hate putting it away and then it'll sit in piles in my house for weeks like I just had my husband's clothes folded in the laundry room and it was sitting on the shelf for like three days before I finally put it away and so I feel like when I'm folding it in the actual room on the bed I'm kind of forced to put it away because it's sitting there and then of course we all have to go to bed later that day and so regardless it has to be put away so this just kind of keeps me accountable and kind of forces me to put the clothes away from all my slip ups and mistakes And I'm just pointless without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end things like we did I'm sorry this For all those promises I made you That I couldn't keep But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Honestly the sheets were all done washing at this point and you will see me jumping back and forth here quite a bit um, I put the sheets back on Barrett's bed made his bed and then I'm gonna go put the sheets on the crib and then I will move back into his room and finish cleaning in there and just again just tidying up I'm going to be vacuuming and just getting the rooms put back together and then once I'm kind of done with all of the bedrooms I'm actually going to be cleaning the kids bathroom it's just something that really needed to be done on this day and I needed to get in and do so I'm gonna take a few minutes here and get Barrett's room picked up and then I will move into the bathroom. You're keeping me on. Yeah, I'm strapped in. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what your least favorite chore to do around the house is. You guys know one of my least favorite chores are the bathrooms. I cannot stand them. And specifically the tubs and showers, I really don't like doing those. I don't really mind coming into the bathroom and like wiping down the counters and stuff. But I don't really love cleaning toilets and I don't love cleaning tubs and showers. I just feel like it takes forever kills my back and it's just not fun who wants to clean toilets because nobody does um, so I'm gonna spend a few minutes in here again just kind of tidying up wiping down the counter cleaning the toilet and just getting things nice and fresh and clean it's 
actually going to be ending today's video right here of me cleaning a toilet. I know, such a very random place to clean. But again, this is kind of where I ended my cleaning for the day. This is where I was like, you know what, I'm done. I did my job and now I'm going to relax. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and you leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! I hear that song